Welcome back to Keith's Woodwork. We're on special location today in the beautiful Berkshires of Massachusetts in a little town called Savoy. My friend Bob here cut down a big maple tree. These are side sections from a huge log that we cut up in the back. Stay tuned and check out how we did it. In this section here, I was taking a look at the log to see how I was going to cut it, how the grain lines and the pith were going to line up, making sure that I had some kind of a game plan as the log sat and I didn't need to move it anymore. Okay, so we just pulled this monster log out with big blue. We got it to a position that we can cut it. We're going to try and make some large bowl blanks. This log is 31 inches by about four and a half feet. Obviously, I can't fit that on my lathe, as big and lovely as it is. So we're just going to cut this up and see if we can't get some large bowl blanks out of it. So this first piece, I'm just going to cut off just so I have a square end. And it's a, a good length so that we have the right size bowl blank to match the diameter of the log itself. So I've squared it off, I left about 36 inches so we'll have plenty of room to make a circle out of these pieces. And I wanted to keep this crotch in here so hopefully we'll get some good grain in this piece. So now I'm just going to cut four or five inch sections straight down and we'll see how it comes out as we do that. And because it's so long, my chainsaw is 20 inches, it's cutting real good, but I'm going to have to go from one side and then come back from the other to get the slab. Here in the beginning I'm just making a mark on one side so I have a reference point from the opposite side to try and get the straightest line that I can possibly get. I've already used a tape measure and made some marks on both sides of the logs to try and get a straight line down the log. At this point I've got the slab just about cut off, there's just a little bit left on the bottom holding it on, and I'm coming back and cutting off the end so that I have a flat, kind of parallel face to attach a chuck or a screw plate or whatever device I'm going to use to attach it to the lathe. It's easiest to cut it off when it's like this because it'll just drop off and then I can go back to cutting, finishing up that cut slab. So from that big log that we started out with, we got one, two, three, four slabs that we're going to use. Um, this one's a little small, so I'm just going to cut it in half and make two bowls out of it. But I'll have three big, huge bowl blanks to put on my new big lathe. So we cut these big, giant slabs. We marked the center, and we use a trammel, and we marked the circle. So now we're going to cut these with the chainsaw to just to rough out the circle a little bit easier. So I, it's easier on the lathe. But these circles are about 17, well no, what were they, 27 inches? 27 inches. Yeah. About 27 inches. So we get a nice big bowl. And I, made, I cut them between four and five inches thick. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so I've got these cut round. I went as close as I could to the line that we used. The benefit to taking off all the corners and everything, it makes it a lot easier in your turning. It also takes a lot of the weight and strain off of the motor on the lathe, and it's easier to get it up onto the lathe. So next thing to do now, I got three more slabs to cut like this, and then it's back to the shop for some fun. We still had plenty of daylight and there was a lot more big logs, so I grabbed another one and I figured, how often am I going to come up across logs this big? So we cut up a second one and I got two or three slabs out of that one as well. I know it sounds like a waste. Okay, fine. But I can't. Do you want a big one? We'll make a big one. <laughs> yeah, you can always get small wood, right? Yeah. because of the lip. Wow, look at that. Yeah. The wood, not my <laughs> finger. <laughs> Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for when I get these bowl blanks back to the shop for some turning. I don't want to look like you, have my belly hanging out. I got Bobo! <laughs> <laughs>